Today we're going to be making gluten and dairy free meatballs and spaghetti squash. To start, chop your spaghetti squash in half lengthwise. Once you get to the stem, pull it apart. Then use a spoon to scrape out the seeds. My chickens love getting these chicken scraps when I make this dish. Next, drizzle some olive oil over the top of the spaghetti squash. Then sprinkle a little salt and a little pepper over top. Use your hands to rub the olive oil all over the inside of the spaghetti squash. Place them flesh slide down into a roasting pan. Then use a fork to poke holes in the top. With your oven preheated to 400 degrees, roast the spaghetti squash for about 20 to 25 minutes. Next, we're going to start on the meatballs. Chop an onion in half. We're going to be using half of an onion for the meatball recipe. For the meatballs, you want to finely chop the onion. If chopping is not your best skill, you can also use a grater for this step. Add half of a finely chopped onion to a bowl. Then peel in mince four cloves of garlic. I like to cut off the end of my garlic cloves and then use my knife to smash them. It makes it really easy to get the peel off of these garlic cloves. Use a garlic press to mince your garlic. If you don't have a garlic press, you can also use a knife to chop these up really finely. Then add one teaspoon of salt a half teaspoon of onion powder half of a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Then add two tablespoons of dried parsley. Then add an egg to the dish. Next, you are going to add oat flour. I actually have a grain mill, so I'm going to mill some fresh oat flour to use, but you can also buy it at a grocery store. You're going to add about two thirds cup of oat flour to the dish, and then mix it all up using a fork. Once it's all mixed, go ahead and add about a pound of ground beef. Use your hands to mix it all together. Once it's all incorporated, go ahead and prepare your baking sheet. I have an extra large baking sheet that I'll be using today, but you can also use two regular size cookie sheets. You want to make your meatballs even in size. You can see here how big they are. These are about the size of a meatball equivalent to if you used a medium sized cookie scoop. Once they're all rolled out, make sure they're spaced evenly on the pan. About this time, your spaghetti squash should be done roasting. Check it with a fork and make sure it's tender. Go ahead and flip those over so they can begin to cool down just a little bit. And you can check again to see if it's easy to shred it. Reduce your oven temperature to 375 degrees. Bake your meatballs for about 18 minutes. Next, we're gonna start on the pasta sauce. To start, you're going to peel three cloves of garlic. Then chop the remaining half of an onion. Now 
In a saucepan over medium heat, heat up about a tablespoon of olive oil. Then mince your garlic cloves. Allow those to brown for a little bit. Then add your half of an onion finely chopped. Saute your onions and garlic until they're becoming translucent. Then add a can of tomato sauce. Next add a can of diced tomatoes. And finally add about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Stir this together and allow it to cook over low heat. Add about a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of black pepper, and about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Next add about half a tablespoon of garlic powder and about a half a tablespoon of onion powder. Stir this up until it's all fully incorporated and allow it to keep simmering. Your meatballs are done when they're lightly browned on top. Mine take about 18 minutes to cook, but if you make your meatballs larger, be sure to increase the cooking time. Cut one open with a fork to make sure the middle is done. Next, you'll need to shred your spaghetti squash. I do it using two forks, just pulling it away from the skin of the spaghetti squash. Add some to a plate. Then add your pasta sauce on top. And finally, add your meatballs. I hope you enjoy your gluten and dairy free meatballs and spaghetti squash. You can find more gluten and dairy free recipes at moreauditorytraining.com.